Hello Knights fans, I'm Mike Belusha, the Director of Athletic Communications. Joining me now to look at the 2015 lacrosse team is their head coach, Todd Kaiser. Welcome. Mike, how are you? Good, good to be here. Good, thank you. Um, last year was your first year here on campus, had some ups, had, had some downs. Uh, what did you learn in your first year? Uh, to be patient, um, you, you know, it was a great learning experience uh, for me uh, you know, and for the girls uh, on the team. Um, just there were a whole lot of different situations that were thrown our way. Um, you know, so it was a lot of being able to deal with the adversity and still having success while, while, while facing a lot of different challenges. Now, you talk about success, and, and let's look at some of the individual players. For me, when you say success in Queens College Lacrosse, the first person I think of is, is your attacker from Carl Place, Long Island, Taylor Martello. What do you like about her? What are her expectations for the season? Uh, she has a great work ethic. You know, she'll come to practice and she'll set the tone every day on how, you know, on how we need to be playing emotionally and, you know, um, you know, and energy wise. So she's really, a, she leads by example. The girls feed off her energy and, you know, and her tenacity. So, you know, I expect really good things from her this year. And, and, and what do you like most about her, her offensive game? Uh, she's a very powerful player. She's strong. She's aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, and she has a tremendous skill set. So, you know, she can be a threat from behind the cage. You know, above the eight and the twelve inside, so she's, she's a really a, a very strong all-around player. And the nice thing is that she's not the only uh, returning player who's had some success. There's a couple of others I want to talk about. Let's talk about another Long Island player, Alyssa McCormick, and, and another player, uh, Janet Campbell. What do you like about those two? You know, they'll they'll they were both new to the team uh, last season. Mm -hmm. You know, so with a year under their belt, and you know, I I, I do expect them to kind of come out of their shells and, and have have breakout years. Um, you know, they'll bring that veteran leadership down to the attack end of the field. Sure. Uh, you know, and again, they're just tremendous players who I can put inside, behind the net, above the cage. So, you know, I expect great things from them, too. Another upperclassman who's returning is uh, somebody who's sort of been a quiet leader. Um, she's a local girl from, from, from Bayside, and that's Carly Cherico. What do you, what do you like about Carly? She, she is constantly trying to improve her game, mm -hmm. always asking questions. Um, on how she can improve, mm -hmm. um, you know. So she'll be a leader down on the defensive end for us. Last year she played a little bit of midfield, right. uh, but this year I want her more down on the defensive end, kind of taking charge. You know, especially since Kali Evans is no longer with the team, you right, know, right. due to graduation. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be nice to have uh, Carly down there. Some experience, uh, with leadership. experience, yeah, and, and of you course, know, good, good, uh, good energy, and, and just uh, she'll add a toughness to the defense that um, that we really need. Now you mentioned um, Kali being gone. I think you know the fans that follow the team know that the biggest question mark heading into this year is is the goalie. You know, what are your who's in the mix uh, between the pipes and, and and you know what what are your thoughts about that? Uh, we have you know we have two kids right now who are in a really good goalie competition, both tremendous, um, both very different styles of play. So you know it's going to come down to the next few days to see who you know to see who's going to be in there come sure. the start of our season but sure. it's been a great competition they're constantly going back and forth uh, and pushing each other so it's a really healthy competition for for the goalie spot and 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 you know one of them uh, is a returning player but one's a newcomer just just kind of talk to us about um, some of the newcomers who are the ones that kind of stand out what are your expectations for for those players so a lot of new faces on the team this year mm -hmm. uh, a few transfers Melanie Kahn, Jessica McAllister, mm -hmm. Courtney Canavan are all transfers. Uh, we have a couple true freshmen, Mary Pat uh, Gibble, uh, Stephanie Nooner, Kelly Cornelius, um, again, who are going to bring the you know the, bring some some young energy to the team. Um, so it's good. It's a lot of new faces. It's just all about the girls coming together and getting comfortable with each other, playing with each other. Uh, one of the goals for our fall was to just get out there and play. Mm -hmm. With all the new faces combined with the returners, they needed to get to know each other on the field. Um, so it, our goal was to just go out there and play so that now they know each other's tendencies uh, and they, they can kind of feed off each other and read each other during these the many different situations during the game. So I'm really excited for the newcomers coming in and you know it, it's the they, they're gonna you know set the tone for the year and hopefully we can have continued success you know from now till the end of, end of April, beginning of May. Great. And I think, um, you know, lastly, if you kind of tie it all together, you've got a lot of experience coming back. You've got some, some ener energetic, uh, precocious young players. What do you think are realistic expectations for the team? What, do you, what are the goals you guys set for the, for the season? You know, we, we take it day by day. Uh, 
we don't look too far ahead. There's, you know, we don't really have games circled on our calendar. We just we go out every day trying to win that specific day. Each drill in practice, we want to win the drill. You know, whether it be at the very beginning fundamental stick work drill in practice, all the way to the to the team settled stuff at the end of practice. Cool. You know, we we break it down drill by drill, and you know, if we win every drill, we win the practice, we win the day, and then we move on to the next day. So, you know, if, as long as we keep taking it day by day and stay patient and keep getting better every day, then the sky's the limit for for this program this year. That was uh, Queens College lacrosse coach Todd Kaiser. You can follow the lacrosse program and all the programs by logging on to www.queensnights.com.